Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions. In this video, I just want to talk about how you plug these babies into your calculator because most calculators do not have a change of base function. Some do, in which case this is not as needed, but most do not. So the thing is, there are three log buttons on a two log buttons on a calculator. One that just says log, and that's log base 10, and one that says ln, that's not in, it's ln, it's a log, all logs have l's in it, and this is a natural log. This is base 10, this is base e. e is a funky number. I discuss it in a future video if you want to go and watch it. Um, the thing is, the change of base formula says to calculate this in your calculator, all you need to do is log base 10 of 726 divided by log base 10 of five. It's easy to remember the big number goes on top, the little number goes on the bottom. The thing is you can do it with log or natural log. You could do the natural log of 726 divided by the natural log, remember that's an L, of five. If I plug this into my calculator, rounded to three decimal places, I get 4.093. If I plug this into my calculator, I get 4.093. I highly suggest you test this out because you need to know you know you understand how to plug this into a calculator. So this one becomes log of 1221 divided by log of 3 or natural log of 1221 divided by natural log of 3. You should pause at this point and test it out on your own and see if you are getting the same answers that I am getting. Um, if you're not, one of the big issues is you don't put this closed parenthesis here in, and then the division becomes part of the original log. So you have to make sure you put in both of these parentheses if you want to get the answer correct. So log of 127, close parenthesis, divided by log of 15, and we'll get 1.789. But if I do natural log of 127, divided by natural log of 15, I'll also get 1.789. It's actually 1.788, but you know it rounds. Um, and then this last one, I have log of 1 over 20 divided by log of 6, or natural log of 1 over 20 divided by natural log of 1 of 6. Before you freak out at the answer, remember to go from, this is asking 6 to what power is 1 over 20. To get from numerator to denominator, we have to have a negative exponent. So when we plug this into our calculator and we get the answer negative 1.672, it makes a lot of sense. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.